his way up. I'm Angela Yee. My girl, Kim Osario, is here. I'm here. We enjoy this. I love this it. This Yee All right. Well, Iman Shumpert and Tiana Taylor, we have the details exclusively from the Jasmine brand surrounding their divorce settlement. You know, they got married in 2016. They have two daughters. She filed for divorce in 2023, and now everything is finalized. Now, in this ruling, Tiana Taylor gets to retain four key marital properties, which has a value of over $10 million. And he also has to make a one-time seven-figure payment to Tiana Taylor and also $8,000 per month in child support and 100% of private school fees for both daughters. Wow. Got it? Now, Iman Shumpert gets to keep his Miami condo, ownership of his South Georgia compound and Decatur, Georgia compound. And um, she also gets a collection of vehicles, which is the Maybach, the Sprinter, the Mercedes Sprinter, a tour bus, and her Bronco truck and all of her jewelry. And then she gets 100% ownership of her companies. And then he gets to keep all his investments. And there you have it. That's a lot it of is assets. A lot. Listen, I saw somebody on Twitter say, to, at Iman Chamber, you ain't got to pay that damn child support. Do your research. Oh, Don't my listen God. listen to that. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. Pl- pay your child support, please, fellas. Uh, it's so sad, though, that this sad. happened. because Divorce they, is sad. And they had a whole TV show. Remember? they had. A, I remember. Their married life. Mm. All right. Roy Jones Jr.'s son, DeAndre, has died by suicide. So <gasps> sad. Oh. He posted, unfortunately, my son DeAndre took his life on Saturday. I'm so thankful that God allowed me to come home Friday night to spend the last night of his life with me and the family. I know a lot of people are going through tough times right now, but nothing is worth taking your own life. God gives it and God should be the one to take it away. Please respect our privacy mm. while my family and I process this loss. Horrible news. That is so sad. Yeah. To have to deal with something like that. Mm-hmm. So our love and condolences go out to Roy yes. Jones Jr.'s family and friends. All right. Eddie Murphy has uh, said that there is definitely going to be a Shrek 5. And he will make a comeback as the donkey in the Shrek franchise. He had a press junket for the Beverly Hills Cop Axel F movie. And here's what he had to say. We started doing the Shrek four or five months ago. I did the, I recorded the first uh, act, and uh, we'll be doing it this year. We'll finish it up, and there'll be another Shrek is coming out. And there's a Donkey. Donkey's going to have his own movie. His own thing. You were it. so excited, by the I'm way, so when I told excited. you. I'm so excited. We were I'm recording here for this. Every Eddie Murphy remake. That's what I do. Like at night, like I'll just put on an old Eddie, Eddie Murphy movie. Are you, are you going to go see uh, Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F? It's going to be on Netflix. No? Oh, it's on Netflix? Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. I can't that. wait. I'm All right. like Maybe we should down. have a movie night. Yes, let's do that. All I'm right. So excited. Well, that is your Yee And when we come back, speaking of nights, let's talk about last night. I know you were outside. You went to go see A Boogie. Outside. And we'll talk about that. And for all of you who don't know, all right, Kim Osario is a producer for The Impact mm-hmm. New York, yes. that edition. And yes. so... Ella Bands is on that show. That's right. And that Shout is out to her. A Boogie's, I don't know if they're in a relationship still, but we'll discuss it. But anyway, you were outside last night. It's outside. way up. 